Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from a group 11. We will present to you guys about the role of ESP teacher. Next. So the members of group 11 is uh, consists Dinanda Fauzan Hanif and me, Faldo Zendi Ahmad Fauzi and Hakim Rahman Siddiq. Next. Uh, our material consists three. The first is the lack of an orthodoxy. Second is new realms of knowledge. And the last is change in the status of English teaching. Next. Uh, the first material will be explained about Dinanda. Okay, thank you very much, Studio Director. So in here, I would like to explain about the lack of an orthodoxy. So before we start, the orthodoxy itself means the um, accepted theory or doctrine. So in here, in spite of its relatively brief existence, the SP has undergone a number of narrow shifts in orientation. These have come out come about largely because the SP has developed at a time when a fundamental revision of our view of language and learning has been taking place. First of all, it is necessary to be clear about what the term authentic really means. It easily carries the sense of taken from the target situation and therefore not originally constructed for language teaching purposes. In reality, this is a contradiction of the term of authentic. Authenticity is not a characteristic of a text in itself. It is a feature of a text in a particular context. So in here, there is therefore to, wait a minute. There is therefore no intrinsic merit in an authentic text. What uh, we have to do is once more to see the text as part of the teaching or learning process. Uh, the question should be not be, is this text authentic? But what role do I want the text to play in the learning process? We should be looking not for some abstract concept of authenticity, but rather the practical concept of fitness to the learning purpose. In this sense, it can easily be seen that different types of texts will be required at different stages of a course, depending on what we want to we want the text for. For examples, uh, the a point is you want the learners to realize how much uh, information they can get from a text by the application of certain strategies. The B point is you want to do a jigsaw reading task, such as in lesson two in chapter. Uh, second, if you insisted on using target situation text here, you could be searching forever to find the appropriate ones. Uh, in this case, it is the activity that is of the greatest importance, and so the text can be constructed to generate the best activity. Okay, the next slide is uh, this, the point number C. You want to illustrate a particular sentence pattern or discourse pattern. If you can find a target situation text that fits, use it. If not, it is no great problem. Your, pro your purpose is to make a parent and underlying structure. The next uh, point is you want to illustrate the importance of layout as a clue, as a clue to reading comprehension. Authenticity, particularly of the visual appearance, is a sign qua non in this case. The last point is you want to increase your learner's motivation by emphasizing the real world application of the language. In this case, an authentic text is preferable or at least an authentic appearance. The importance of a text is not intrinsic to the text but derives from the role the text has to play in the teaching or learning process. Ask yourself, what do I want the text to do? On that basis, the most appropriate type of text can be selected. Okay, the next one is that uh, as example of the use of non-use or authentic text illustrators, 
ESP teachers will often have to orientate themselves to difficult problems with little or no guidance. There are no easy solution to this situation, but some methods that might help, but that might be useful are, uh, the first point is surveys of the history and present state of ESP in your own or neighboring countries. Uh, the second one is formation of groups of ESP teachers, perhaps allied to an existing national organization for the formation of the LT to further the support and development of ESP. Uh, the third one is establishment of newsletters and the other forms of publication for exchanging information and views about the SP in your country. So the last one is provision of pre and in-service teacher training focusing on ESP issues. Such provision can take a variety of forms, workshops, seminars, sources, etc. Okay, maybe that's all for me. Back to the moderator, please. Thank you, Dinanda, for explaining uh, the material. So the next material about new realms of knowledge will be explaining by me. So uh, as well as helping to cope with the uncertain values of the strain of plan of ESP, ESP teachers may also have to struggle to master language and subject matter beyond the bounds of their previous experience. Teachers who have been trained for general English teaching or for the teacher, teaching of literature, literature may suddenly find themselves having to teach with the text whose contents they know little or nothing, nothing about. <coughs> this, in addition to having to orientate themselves in a shifting world, the SP teachers may at the same time feel a sense of utter inadequacy at their ability to cope. This problem is best illustrated in the question of specialist knowledge and language. Put briefly, does the ESP teacher need to understand the subject matter of ESP materials? Next. If we are going to be able to come up with the reasonable answer, we need to ask ourselves three questions. The first, does the content of ESP material need to be high, highly specialized? The only real justification for having highly specialized text is to achieve face validity. Learners may be more motivated by them because they make the language seem more relevant. But uh, learners can be fickle, and if the use and if the use of such text make work in the classroom difficult. Learners will soon lose their liking for such texts. The real answer to this question lies in looking at the teaching of ESP term of a whole teaching or learning process. And the factor within that process must be evaluated on the basis of how it relates to, to the other factors and thus affects the entire process text. In other words, should not be selected as text, but as element in a learning process, if the text cannot be handled eff effectively by teacher, it is not enough to simply expect the teacher to cope as well as possible. A reasonable solution should be negotiated. Next. And the second question is, why do so uh, many ESP teachers find it difficult to comprehend ESP subject matter? The, the first is, there is a tradition in education of separating between humanities and science and the sciences. Language has usually been allocated to the humanities, humanities camp. Second, many SP teachers are reluctant settlers, settlers in the new territory. And the third, considering the scale of the ESP revolution, it must be admitted that little effort has made to retrain teachers or to at, at least allay their fears. The fourth and last is the general attitude in the ESP seems to be to expect teachers to conform to the requirement of target situation. And the, the last question is C, uh, what kind of knowledge is required of the ESP teacher? They require three things only. The first is a positive attitude towards the ESP content. 
Second is a knowledge of the fundamental principles principles of the subject area. And the third, an awareness of how much they probably already know. In other words, the SP teacher should not become a teacher of subject matter, to treat an interested student of the subject matter, as of the subject matter. To sum up, if there is to be meaningful communication in the classroom, it is essential that there is a common fund of knowledge and interest between teacher and learner. Next. And this material will be explained by Hakim Rahman Sidi. Okay, thank you, Falda. Uh, here now I will present my material and I will read my material. Uh, okay, point number three, a change in the status of English teaching. One of the most important features of ESP in relation to general English is that the status of English changed from being a subject in its own right to a service industry for other specialisms. In many cases, this led to a lowering of status for the teacher, or at least this seems to be the ESP teacher's view. John's 1981, for example, is five problems that EAP teachers complain of low priority in timetabling like of personal or professional contact with subject teacher isolation from other English teacher doing similar work and K trans identified for primary assessment for learning and differentiated instruction dominated the discussion. Differentiated instruction is based on the idea that learning is an ongoing process and should be adaptable to, st to students of very varying skill levels and interests and backgrounds. This should mean the teacher is always setting a level of challenge for each student with, it, with which is at the optimum level. Next. And next, how can they do that? Maybe well, there is a strong sense uh, amongst primary teachers that's a one size fits all approach once ad addressed the needs of mixed ability classes, implementing differentiated instruction in a way that is relevant. Fluid and engaging is not an easy task. Unless you have the supporting materials to back it up, teachers are often tackle students' varying needs with their own in ingenuity. But Differentiated learning as an integral part of all these materials will become increasingly important. Well, begin to see scaffolded approaches embedded more firmly into the course materials themselves. And how will that work? It could take the form of different pedagogical features in the textbooks and digital course, simple approaches like signaling to highlight a particular element of the course material means students who need and extra hint have it ready. But those who are familiar with the material already are unlikely to be influenced by signaled content. Next. Uh, for high schools, work with the budget and increasing demand from family and government programs. The intent is teaching that increases the perceived value of secondary school education and for private school in particular. So parents and be paying guardians that they are getting good grades. This means it is uh, increasingly important to provide professional development materials and program that enhance teacher skills. As the world grows more digital, this could mean better training to integrate digital resources into everyday teaching, which in turn will help them overcome knowledge gaps between instructor and students in the use of digital resources and become more effective in using digital curricular bodies and ever evolving assessment materials. There is also a high demand for differentiation and personalization in teacher professional development materials, which will help them cope with the specific demands of the environment in which they work. Next. Uh, secondary school teachers are also increasingly being asked to teach in two languages, something that has been used extensively in international schools for some time, but is likely to be used in the secondary school curriculum more broadly soon. An increasing number of secondary schools are tasked with implementing the CLI, 
IL approach with youth and young adults. This means a greater demand for tools that help teachers identify areas of their curriculum where in instructional English could be improved or new training strategies that address the difficulties of using English in specific. Sometimes technical context ultimately focusing on how to use English in school. Cross-curricular context can help their learner success. For the last one, maybe trends for adult. Personalized learning and the coexistence of digital and traditional content dominate the discussion with a clear need for programmers which provide flexible learning in order to address the needs and interests of learners from different files of work and study in line with this. We expect to see a lot more material with support English for specific purpose or ESP in ELT by 2020. Uh, as with learning in schools, there was also a call for digital resources with the potential to facilitate individualized learning, but not for the same reasons that primary teachers require them. Adult classrooms likely have a broad range of students whose interests range from love to business to change, and they will use their immediate, immediate English skills in a wider range of contexts than younger learners. Materials and resources will support ESP and can be adapted by students, and this like will become a key offering for those. local level and adaptable to needs of different is Uh, can our group explain? Uh, thank you for watching and uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.